or welcome if you are new. Today's video is going to be full of just homemaking motivation. We are about, I think, three days, four days away from Halloween. There was some last minute things I had to do. There's cleaning, there's a Halloween dinner, Halloween treat. You name it, it's all in this video. If that sounds like something you'd wanna watch, stick around, hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and come along with me for the rest of my day. I will say I did already run my errands and I did not bring the camera because it is pouring outside. We have a cold front coming through and I went to several different stores all looking for jack-o'-lantern size pumpkins and it was I think my fourth store that finally had them. So I'm just glad I have them because each one of my kids usually gets a pumpkin to carve. So at least now I have that handle. My daughter, she's gonna be a witch for Halloween. She didn't have any like black dress shoes. She just has like sandals and things like that. So I did find her a pair of these. They were less than $6, really cute, and she can wear them after Halloween. So I had to pick those up. I'm apologizing to the cat already. This was my husband's idea, not mine. We were putting a shark costume on the cat. I'll show you guys what this looks like shortly. The other main thing I had to get while I was there, my kid's school for the elementary side of it does a storybook parade for the last Friday before Halloween. We have books all over the house, but we didn't have a costume to put Declan in that fits because they don't want any masks or any kind of accessories. So we went to Walmart and just picked a costume that would work and we had a Paw Patrol book. So I just grabbed him a Paw Patrol costume and then we passed by all the Halloween books and they had a Halloween specific Paw Patrol. So I got those together for him for school tomorrow. For anyone new around here, my daughter Gwen is obsessed with shoes and she is very impatient to try these on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have her try them on. Look at you. You excited? Yeah. All right, give me the foot. Mm-hmm. Slide it in. <gasps> it's more painful. <laughs> Almost forgot. Had to grab diapers for my daughter that refuses to potty train. So yeah, that was another main reason we had to go shopping. We have a break in the rain. So we have this one right here that's been surviving fine. Those two right there are the new ones we got today as well as that one. They are massive. But that little one over there is still okay. This one right here is questionable, which is why I grabbed three today and not two because there is a little black spot right there on the top of that one, so I think that one might be rotting from the inside out. But either way, we do have pumpkins to carve for this weekend. She is so mad. Swing, fish. Swing, fish. <laughs> Ooh, where's the shark going? No, Hunter. No, swim. Hunter wants to know what's going on. Okay, but now I'm gonna jump into the cleaning part. I'm gonna start in the master and the master bathroom and then just see where it goes from there. And she's now super, super mad at me. I'm so sorry. into the master bathroom and honestly I've been putting this off for a while it just really needs a full deep clean in there because with the five kids and getting ready for school and everything in the mornings 
we just kind of dump and go so nothing's really getting put back where it belongs being organized and everything so yeah this just really needs to be done bath goes I have the shower sitting there I'm gonna let the kaboom sit for a while so I'm gonna go ahead and come out here and make dinner for tonight it is a Halloween dinner I am making little slider cheeseburgers and I'm gonna turn them into monsters now as per usual I am doubling so just ignore that if you only need to make one pound make one I have to make two for my family the recipe I use when I want some really easy sliders is I actually use Brianna Kay's cookbook for the baking of it part. I don't use like the dressing and stuff that she puts on there, but I take this as a general guideline and then work from that. First things first, preheat to 350. And I'll let you know if this thing actually gets to 350. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your beef, you're gonna put it into a bowl and season it however you want to season your burgers, salt, pepper, onion, garlic powder, Montreal steak, whatever you want, season it to your liking. Take a 13 by nine glass metal, doesn't matter. Put your meat mixture in there and you're gonna press it all the way down, edge to edge. This is what you're going for when I mean edge to edge. It is gonna seem like it's pretty thin, but these are meant to be sliders and each one of these will make 12 sliders. Then put this in your oven. Ooh, okay, never mind. All right, but go ahead and put this in your oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Check the temperature. Once it's about 165, they're done. I know you can't see that, but it actually says 350. I'm impressed.
is finally done. This needed to be done for the longest time. Uh, I am not scrubbing in there. I just did the toilet like two days ago because, I mean, potty training. So I just did that. I don't have to do that. So this room is checked off the list and I have to go finish up dinner. Once the 20, 25 minute timer goes off, put whatever kind of cheese, if you're gonna do them cheese, stick that on top and keep it in there just long enough to melt and then pull them out. I use the Hawaiian rolls for this. You can use normal slider buns, however you're going to. This just makes it easier because they're connected. So you just take the meat out and slide it on. I'll show you in a few minutes. But you need to slice your Hawaiian rolls down the middle so you have tops and bottoms. And then if you're gonna make monsters, I also have some sliced white cheese. They didn't bring me real cheese, they brought me these, but I'll make it work. And then I have olives with the pit, and then this is for tongues. plain that's why there's no condiments no nothing on these but you can always at this point put your lettuce tomato onion anything you want on them but our kids are very basic so this will make them happy now we can also stop here because I've done this a thousand times but I'm gonna turn these into monsters step one cut some cheese to look like teeth don't put the teeth on yet because you have to put the tongue on just take one of them stacker pickles cut it in half and put it on there to where it kind of hangs out then the teeth, then put your bun back over the top. And there is step one. Take some of the green olives that still have like the pit inside them. Well, this isn't the pimento, this is pimento, but take those and take a toothpick and you're gonna stab it like that. Do two of those. And then once you have those, you stick them in the top of your burger. And you could put them at different heights too if you want to. So one eye higher, one eye lower. And you have a monster. Isn't it cute? Did another one for one of the other kids. It's looking better each time I do it, but they're really cute. And for my very, very picky child that doesn't even want a pickle to touch hers, here is one without the tongues if you wanted to do that. Tonight's Halloween dessert is an easy one. It's just a play on root beer floats, but you do it with orange soda instead of root beer and you make them into little jack-o'-lanterns by drawing on the cups, and it's that easy. And there's the finished product, just real simple, and then you can actually like take that down a little bit if you want to with your finger, a straw, whatever, and keep filling up even higher with the orange soda. I mean, come on, they're my kids. I can touch the top of that with my finger, but for anybody who's having an issue with that, use a straw. Dinner's done, dessert's done, the master bathroom and the master bedroom are both complete. And now the next cleaning project I'm gonna go into is another one that I've been putting off and I have to do it now because there's two things that are missing and they have to be in there because I've checked everywhere else in the house and that is my master closet. It is my closet of shame. I chuck everything in there when it's seasonal, birthday, you name it, and it is a disaster. So that's where I'm going to next. Here's the reason I can no longer put off my closet. This broke today and I tried tape to put it back up there and it's just not working. I have the repair kit for these and I don't know where I put it and it has to be in that closet. So this is the first reason why. And then the second reason why I have a Halloween decoration that I bought and completely forgot about that I bought until I was watching YouTube. I think last week I was watching Lauren. I will tag her channel down below possibly. She was doing an amazing tablescape and she had fog coming out of one of those little, um, it's like the metal jack-o'-lanterns from the Target dollar spot. I have one I bought like five weeks ago, completely forgot about, and it's in that closet somewhere. When you first enter, it's not bad. And actually those are my daughter's boots to go with her Halloween costume. It's still fine, still not bad. Okay, 
that is my pile of crazy. It's got Halloween, it's got Christmas, just a whole bunch of random stuff. That's my daughter's birthday present for like a month from now. So yeah, just a mess. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing. But I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. Shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. I need to Stuck through the entire closet, made it look better in there. I'll show you in a second. It's not perfect, but with the holidays coming, this is best it's gonna get. I did find this, as you guys saw, and I still did not find the repair kit, but I did find my extra blades. So if worst case scenario, I'll just replace one of the blinds entirely instead of repairing it, but I don't really want to do that. I still want to try and find that repair kit. I've got trash pile, trash pile, all the laundry. If it was on the floor, I'm washing it. That's just kind of how I'm doing this. But look, all the open space. Because that's literally Halloween on top, Christmas on the bottom, and then just some of the extra bigger boxes that are just staying over there. Brianna's costume boots. So it's much, much better now. While I was cleaning out the bathroom today, I found all of my little Halloween earrings. I've just been taking them off, putting them back on this thing when I'm done, or just sticking them up here, like my spiders are up here. But a couple weeks ago, I ordered this thing from Shein, Shein, whatever it is. It's just like a bead sorter, but I'm going to use it for earrings. and in this one now it's about 20 minutes to my kids bedtime I still have to get them ready for all of that and clean up my kitchen after dinner but I'm still on the hunt for those things to fix it and I'm probably not gonna rest until it's done so I'll also be working on that and I'm not gonna have you guys watch me tear my house apart looking for one thing thank you guys so much for watching this one I hope it gave you tons of homemaking motivation for all the things you need to get done around your house if you did enjoy this one please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>